I had to go into the bankruptcy to see if I can uh, maneuver the case and get it back on track. Unfortunately, it was unsuccessful. Um, I was able to at least take that time and use it constructively to kind of reassess and look at the uh, case to find other areas of concern, which is when I was able to bring forward the identity theft and the government was able to see it and then they started to issue uh, letters of release and um, acknowledgement that yes this is clearly an identity theft you have a look-alike name and they're using someone of a different race and using my credentials with that that name and I was like wow you know they these guys are really good they're not they're very professional they're very sophisticated however if given enough time, you can dissect these cases and find out how they perfect the identity thefts in these cases. Clearly what I did. Um, now they're trying to find ways to get out of it. So they're trying to stall any and every statute possible, making it impossible for it to go to trial I or to even open the case. Yeah, they're, they're pulling every string they can. And who's the financial group right now that you're that is holding the paperwork the bogus paper paperwork well it looks like bank of new york mellon is really the big bully here that's trying to legalize the paperwork and they're fighting for some alleged trust a trust uh is known by bear stearns alt alta 2006-2 which has already been in litigation back in New York where, where this loan is governed through the pulling and service uh, agreements and the prospectus it says this this uh, trust is governed its jurisdiction is in New York so they've already litigated and found that New York Bear Stearns had an issue and they dismissed the case I think it was in uh, May of uh, 2014 they dismissed the case the insurance company against uh, Bear Stearns and then uh, they said it was without prejudice because they found new information in regards to the uh, packaging of, of the um, documents, the loans. And they were saying, if we had known about this prior to, we'd have never insured any of these loans. So, you know, they were very smart at how they, they, they put these loans together and they pull certain uh, documents to, you know, get it to pass through the system, and then all of a sudden, oh, by the way, we forgot to add this in here. Oh, all these loans are bad. They're, they're basically waiting to, to default. They wouldn't have. And any, right, any insurance company in their right mind would have never insured such a thing because that means they're liable for all those uh, defaulted loans. Going so forward. since June, they took your home off the pre-sale listing information? No, they actually had it on uh, the auction block for a while. And just recently, we've noticed that Zillow has uh, taken the home off of the pre-foreclosure or auction block. Now, we're not quite sure what they're doing, but something behind the scenes is, is moving. Either someone's paying or... Um, uh, it's we can't tell you know we're, we're trying to find out what's making them take that loan off of the market or, or uh, out of the foreclosure but um, I, I've done a few things with my loan and it seems to be stabilizing but I don't want to be too confident yet until I get the final paperwork that says you own it outright did some uh, attorney general in this state or another state send them letters asking for information? Yes. Um, actually, I, I had the opportunity to get a, a few uh, very powerful letters, one from the Office of um, Inspector General, who's basically going to inquire and uh, find out what you know documents they have, because I've laid some very strong allegations on the table with proof. And then I caught wind that the Attorney General also had that same file. And now they're asking... California the Attorney General. California Attorney General. She's saying, let me see those documents. Because I've put enough information into the Consumer Financial Protections Bureau. And they're looking at it and they're like, that wasn't a mistake. That's not you. I, yeah, I know it's not me. But I want to see how they arrived at their answer. How is that me?